Rainbow trout are the only inhabitants of the biggest natural subterranean lake in Europe. They were brought here especially to the lake under the small Swiss village of saint Leonard, both to maintain the water quality and also as an extra attraction for tourists. Cédric Savio regularly guides visitors across the lake. He is fascinated by the calm. We live in a world where we're trying to get closer to nature, to return to the essential things of life. This is a place where we can be more at one with nature, away from the outside world and all the excitement. The subterranean lake is 300 meters long and 20 meters wide. Behind the rock formation is a cave that stretches for over a kilometer. But it's not accessible. The light projections allude to an old legend, according to which the girls of saint Leonard would come here to see the faces of their future husbands reflected in the water. Now the lake attracts some 80,000 visitors a year. The ceilings have been strengthened to prevent pieces of rock from falling on them. You feel very safe here, and the water has an incredible energy. It's so clear. There's a fabulous feeling of safety. You can feel the resonance of the cave's energy. It's fabulous, really fabulous. To know the stories from him, how it is created, I don't know, yeah, I, I just like how nature is formed and why suddenly here. Diving and swimming are usually banned here, but sometimes exceptions are made. These professional divers brave the temperatures of 10 degrees Celsius. The wrecks at the bottom of the lake were installed by Savio and his team as a surprise at the end of the tour. The cave has a constant temperature of 15 degrees Celsius, perfect for storing wine. This one was made by Christophe Petrissé. The winemaker has a vineyard 70 meters above the lake, an ideal location. The conditions are very good for making wine. And the many visitors get to see that there are people making wine here. And that's very important. So people will talk about what we're doing. The locals here were always aware of this water-filled cave, but it was only in the 1940s that it became more accessible, following an earthquake. All of a sudden, the small, quiet village of saint Leonard attracted a lot of unfamiliar attention. It's definitely a plus for the village. Dozens of jobs have been created by the lake. And there have been economic benefits for restaurants, hotels and businesses across the region. Every year around a dozen concerts are held in the cave. Tonight, there are about 100 people in the audience. On stage are The Two, a folk, country and blues band from Lausanne. The musicians have toured the world, but they've never played on such an unusual stage before. It's magical. There's an incredible silence. I think the audience feels it too. So there was silence in some pieces and that changed our way of playing. It gave us the space to play with the silence. And that was impressive. 